Today we're gonna make these designs a lot better and more unique. What's up everyone, Gary Simon here. So today we're gonna to be doing a UI UX workshop video. It's been a while since I did one of these. And basically I just take three user submitted designs from Discord and I improve them in terms of the UI and or the UX. All right, so for the theme of this workshop, it's going to be, you know, really reworking and coming up with more unique ways to tackle common UI design layout patterns. All right, so if you agree or disagree with any of my choices for any one of the three submissions, let me know in the comments. Give me a like, give me a subscribe, and let's get started. Now, before we begin, some of you may not know, but early in the year, I released a UI design bootcamp on Scrimba. Now, Scrimba.com is one of the hottest new ways to learn coding as well as design. At Scrimba, you don't just watch videos. No, no, no. You're actually able to modify code in the browser while you learn. My course on UI design features over 100 lessons that are specifically tailored to help you become an awesome UI designer, and they're packed with interactive challenges. So visit the very first line in the description of this YouTube video to access my course along with many others for a very low monthly fee. Here's a submission that features a section that's commonly found beneath the hero section on a landing page and about a section with a few features describing their business. Now, outside of some obvious UI design issues, it's pretty boring. So I'm gonna try and remedy that situation the most. So the first thing I want to do is to take the what we do text and stick that on a left column. Aligning it to the center all alone doesn't make any sense on a larger viewport. That's something that only makes sense when you don't have enough space. And as you can see here, I'm just experimenting with a unique way to feature the headline. Now for the areas where we have five different features with an associated icon, we can tackle this many different ways. I'm choosing to situate them in a right column and within that column, having two columns with three rows for each of the features. And it will fill up this single 50% width column on a larger viewport. I also choose to slightly change up the background color for each of the features, which will help distinguish the features in a subtle manner from each other. Finally, I decided to replicate the artboard so that I can experiment with a light color scheme. And then to make it a bit more unique, you will see in a bit that I decide to slightly rotate the features section, which I think makes it look really cool. Overall, I'm pretty happy with this particular refactor. Let me know what you think, if you agree or disagree, in the comments. Here's a skills and about me section that's lacking a lot of structure and white space. The four bits of information, such as being a Google code-in winner and other accolades are something that's worth emphasizing more. So I'm gonna create a sort of slideshow or like a horizontal navigating UI where each of these sections has a dedicated screen. So I'm thinking about creating sort of a horizontal navigation for each of the four sections. This could be realized in many different ways during the front end development process. If it were a slideshow, it could pause on one slide for a few seconds and transition to the next. If it were a horizontal scrolling page, it could transition to each section based on scroll. Now, it's just a matter of creating two columns where on the right, a relevant photograph could be placed and on the left, more information about this specific page. Now, after this step, I prototype a very rough animation of what it could look like, but due to limitations of Adobe XD, the result is nowhere near as good as what it could be if it were fully realized in the browser, especially with something like Greensock Animation Platform. Thank you. 
Here's another really common pattern for illustrating features of a given service, but I want to offer up a different full page approach for these three specific sections. So we have three sections and being that I want this to be full screen, I want to partition the layout into three of these sections. Now you could go with three equally length columns, but you could also do what I'm doing, which is a 50% width single column on the left and then split the right column into two rows. Next up, I want to use photograph based backgrounds that are somehow relevant based on the content that will sit on top. Now for two of these sections, I use a photograph technique where the photograph seamlessly overlays into the background. And the third, I use a more traditional approach of using a photograph watermark background. So notice the amount of white space and just how much easier it is to read and follow. Hopefully you enjoyed that. Let me know again if you agreed or disagreed with any of the decisions that I made here in the comments. As always, if you haven't subscribed yet, please just hit that subscribe button with the notification bell and I'll see you guys soon. Goodbye. <laughs>